How are you doing, my cups? Happy Friday, everyone! And as you can see in the background, I've already started building the gaming room. But my camera decided not to record the sound while I was vlogging the progress. Don't worry, there's still some footage there. I mean, I have all the footage without audio, so I'm gonna be adding some of that in. And I'm gonna be running around all that and explaining stuff. But before I just continue blabbering here, let's go! So at first, I'm actually gonna show you the end result. Because this is the end result of what I've done so far. And this is the ground or the floor of the actual gaming room. And we're gonna have the gaming room here on top of this. We're gonna build a wall on top of this and then make a nice little room with the door in it and stuff. And as you can see, I elevated the actual floor of the gaming room because this is gonna be the floor of the gaming room. This is the actual room floor and I did this by adding some planks underneath it. Those are the, like the wooden planks I used. This is one of them, this is left, so I got this left over. So when I started, I used the wooden planks to create a frame at first, all around, as you can see it standing here now. Those are just wooden planks, but what I also did is, as you can see here, you can see some white stuff underneath that. That's some rubber, and that's also some rubber underneath there. And this is the stuff I put on top of it and underneath of it. This stuff is actually used to make windows more energy efficient or whatever, uh, but I thought I'm gonna use it for this because it's actually quite good for that. It's soft, but it's not too soft. I think it would just be perfect for that, so I used that, yeah. And here is why I did this. I did this to block the sound transmission as good as possible from this floor to the actual floor of the room. So I will have like a room inside the room, which is actually not touching anything in this environment here. But if I would have just put a frame around, it wouldn't be stable. So I've put some extra planks like underneath in different directions and stuff. When I was finished with this, I started to add the rubber underneath and also on top of the frame I just created. And there it was, the wooden frame was done, so the next thing what was to do is to create the floor on top of it. And I used these wooden plates here, I still have a lot of them left because I'm gonna use them to build the walls. So I still have a lot left over. I hope it's enough, otherwise I will have to get more. So then I measured everything out and I cut the wooden plates and put them on top. So I was done with that and then I had the plates on top and I was like, yay, the base is finished. But then I was like, let's try it out. And I stepped on top and it started to bend because I made a really dumb mistake. You can see that there is like this small plate here and there's, it connects to the bigger plate. And what I didn't do, I didn't have anything to assist this connection. So I had to screw everything open again on this side, just a small plate, uh, get the small plate away and assist all of this. So it wouldn't like break if I jumped on it or something. Now it's stable as you can see, I can just step on it and it's just fine. This is what we accomplished so far and I'm gonna continue in the next building vlog which is probably gonna be next Friday. But until then I hope you enjoyed this, you can leave me your ideas down in the comment section and your thoughts about this. What the, sh what the shit actually did there. Sub to become a cup, and I will see you on the next one. And here comes the pro five. In three, two, one, here we go.
it's up there. Coming for you later, Maintainer Spritz. Just you wait. Just you wait. See you there. We have three switches here, so one, two, three, I guess. One, two, three. 